Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on this quick video on a very simple trading strategy that I use personally in my own trading. It is a really awesome, simplistic approach to the markets and its main focus is to catch big trends and ride them in the currency market. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now first you'll see that there is this cool little indicator here on the left hand side of the screen, which we're gonna come back to in a second. At the end of this video, you'll see how basically this scanner has been built to find the setups that we're gonna be talking about. But before we talk about those setups, let's go talk about what the actual setup or entry style of this price action based strategy actually is. So what I've got is I've got a chart pulled up here and I want to show you this. So what this thing is doing here, what this strategy is all about is catching momentum. The name of the game when it comes to currency market trading is that we want to be catching those big trends and riding them out for all the profit that they have potentially to give. So what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be explaining number one, the uh, the concepts that we're looking for, and number two, the actual entry signal that I'm using to take these trades. So first, number one thing, when it comes to trading, I am looking to ride trends. Now what I've got here is a one hour chart pulled up on on the GBP USD currency pair. Now, what I'm talking about here can be applied to most time frames and most charts, uh, but I am specifically using it mostly in the currency market, things like pound dollar, euro dollar, and gold strategies uh, that are sort of suited towards currencies. In my view, the best stuff is to look for trend following. Anyways, the first thing we need to look for in this simple strategy is trends. So how do we find a trend? Now a trend in my uh, view here or how we're going to be defining it in this strategy, I've got three moving averages. This is the 20 in the blue, the 50 in the green and the 100 simple moving average. Nothing complicated, keeping the, everything here really, really simple. Uh, what we have here is a moving average sequence that looks uh, you know, look kind of like this. Now, when these things are trending, what we're gonna call that is when all three of these are lined up in order. Now, this could be going to the downside too, so that would be considered a downtrend, but when we have all three of these pointing to the upside and lined up like this, those are the kind of markets that I'm looking to trade with this strategy. Now, number two is how do you actually enter into a simple, uh, trend like this. Obviously, we now see that this market is trending, but how do we get involved at a good point? Well, this secondary moving, uh, secondary indicator that you see down here at the bottom of the screen, this is the RSI, and there's nothing fancy, again, about any of this. Uh, we're, we're keeping things really, really simple. What you'll notice is that this is an RSI, and currently I have it applied to the four period RSI, which sounds short term, but for me, this is just a simple uh, sort of added confluence factor to this strategy. Um, so what we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna be looking for signals above or below uh, in the context of the trend. Now, it's one thing to just say, oh, we should sell high and buy low, right? But what we're trying to do here is actually only go for the trend following setup. So again, the trend, if it's up, we are not looking for overbought readings. In fact, we're gonna ignore those completely. So I'm not looking here, but if we're trending up, what I'm looking for is oversold readings in the context of an upward trend. So for example, here's a couple points on the chart that we should take a look at. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. What you'll see is that these are periods of times where the market has dipped into an oversold reading. Now what you'll notice is that, let's line that up with the chart and you can see, hey look, those are some pretty decent pullback buying opportunities lined up with the chart, right? Of course, this one uh, being right around just a, just a little bit to the right there. So right around here. So anyways, the point here is when you have an RSI period showing an oversold status in the context of an upward trend, that is going to be our simple signal. Now this by itself is not magic. This is not going to be a, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're making tons of money from the currency market or anything like that. But what it does tell us is that, okay, we have a couple things satisfied. Number one, we have a trend. Number two, we have a pullback signal, right? So we have a pullback signal being produced in the market. And what that may do is it may say, okay, this is a trending market pulling back. Both of those things are styles that I personally like to trade. And then from there you have options. Let's say that you know you took this trade and you said, okay, I'd like to buy here. 
And you could use structure to your advantage. So you can say, okay, well now let's maybe uh, insert a line. We could just go with a horizontal line and keep things simple. We see that there is some support in this general area and we see also that there's kind of a, uh, a range of support here in this area as well. So maybe we could say, okay, well that makes sense. We've got support here to the left. We've also got uh, the buy signal being generated by this simple trading strategy. And then maybe we put a stop loss below. And in that case, we have, bam, a nice little run up. And maybe let's say we went for something like a two to one. Now, of course, this is the part of the trading strategy where you can optimize to fit whatever you are trading. If you're trading gold, maybe you back test this concept and you say, hey, I like it, but maybe the take profit should be more like a one R or a two R or a three R, depending on what you are looking for and the markets that you're trading. So this is a simple outline strategy that I would definitely encourage you to go back test and try out on some of the different markets that you like to trade. It may have more or more or less success depending on the time frame and chart that you're looking at. So I'd encourage you if you're a day trader, check out things like maybe like pound yen, pound dollar, go try it on them. Or if you're a swing trader, maybe try out Euro USD or gold or whatever you're looking to trade, right? So in the end, this is the concept very, very straightforward. Uh, and that is the style of trading that I personally like to do. I like looking for, you know, pullbacks and continuations and plays that can make a lot of sense. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that this concept, this entry is nothing new and it's something that we look for regularly here with software. Because think about this, if you wanted to check for this strategy, you would be looking at your screen constantly. You're like going back and looking, is it there yet? No. Is it there yet? No. Is it there yet? No. Is it there yet? Oh yes, now we finally have a signal, right? That's a lot of time commitment to go look at charts and to go find a setup. So that is why we actually developed this tool that we talked about in the beginning of the video. This is the A1 Trading Trend Scanner. And what this tool does is it looks exactly for the setup that we just described. So now that you know the strategy, the basics of it, and this general idea of how to find the entry, uh, I personally, before I actually go take a trade, I will consult with a couple different things. Number one, am I fundamentally bullish or bearish on the currency pair? That is a big in, uh, you know, piece of it. Uh, and then number two, I'm looking for you know higher time frame analysis, kind of mixing that in. But the basics of it is that, hey, if we have a market that's trending really strong, Bam, I'm looking for the, the lineup. And uh, this tool right here, what this does is it basically takes all things into account and it says, okay, number one, what's the trend? Bullish or bearish? If it's bullish, what it constitutes is, okay, we have this scenario. This would be considered a bullish trend because all three moving averages are lined up. So at the very quick view, you can see up to 30 charts, what is going on with the symbols? Are we bullish or bearish on them based on the moving averages, based on the time frame that we're looking at? Number two, is the signal actually there? So here is USDCHF producing a downward trend, right? and a signal that the market may have topped out here. So this tool by itself, without looking for hours and hours at different charts to try and find setups, this tool basically alerts you right away as to what the setups currently look like and maybe some signals that may be ready for, uh, for possible trades. So again, we could go take a look at EuroCAD. Here's EuroCAD in a downward, uh, sorry, in a, a slightly upward market and producing a possible buy signal. Here's CAD Swiss in a downward market producing, it already did, produce a sell signal here at the resistance point. So again, this tool has been designed by myself and our team here at A1 Trading to find these trade setups for you. If this is something that you're interested, if you'd like a copy of this tool, there is a link down below in the description. You can purchase it there uh, and jump in there, grab access to the tool. And this tool is going to help you to find the setups that we have basically talked about. So now you know the general strategy, you know the, the basic price action component of the strategy that we're looking for. And this is the tool that will help you to optimize and auto automatically find those sort of setups. Now, a couple things to think about also with this tool is check this out. If we go to uh, the indicator list and we actually grab this trend scanner, you can change all of these symbols. So all of these symbols are changeable based on what you would like to trade. If you want to add in here, you want to uh, change out for NASDAQ 100 or whatever markets that you're looking, if you want to scan them for the setup that we're talking about here, that pullback in an up or down trend, this is how you can do it. So you can change it to this and you can also change your parameters just by clicking here. Let's say you actually prefer, you know, using like the 14 or the seven, whatever you want to do, you can just change it within the parameters of the tool. Um, you can also change the moving averages that it uses to define a trend that is customizable by you. 
And again, in the end, uh, it's a great way to find setups. In fact, here's a setup that I actually took right now. I'm in this trade due to this uh, this concept. So of course, um, what you'll see here is that we have the three moving averages and we have the RSI. And what you'll notice is right here, we had a little confluence of both. So in this moment, I ended up taking a short position because of this simple strategy. The three moving averages were in tune to the downside. So we had a downward trend. And number two, we had the signal here. I also liked the fundamentals and the higher timeframes for a sell on AUD USD. That was some added details that I personally added to my, my trade here and why I took it. And now we're sitting in a position where I've trailed my stop loss into profit. And from here, all I'm doing is waiting to see if I can get more profit on the table. I'm personally choosing to trail my stops. That is how I use the, the approach. So I enter using this simple concept that we talked about. That signal is something that I use on a regular basis. And then I am looking to basically trail stops. Stops. But again, this is a tool uh, that I used to find this trade. So I'm really using these signals uh, as a potential uh, component to my trading strategy that again was produced by this panel here. Every day I check it, I see what is moving and maybe there are some setups that could be worth looking at. So you can see, for example, here's AUD NZD. This thing is uh, overall bearish, but it's not yet produced a signal. Here's GBP NZD bearish, but not yet produced a signal to actually go short. Uh, Euro GBP bullish, but not yet produced a signal. The goal here with this tool is I want to be able to look quickly at signals that are pretty much almost ready to go. So I can go take, take a look at them closely, see if they fit my risk appetite, and then make a decision as to whether or not I want to make a trade. That is how this tool can be used. And again, if you'd like access to it, there will be more information. You can click the link down below in the description. With that said, Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and uh, we will see you back in the next video.